Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 9th of December. The more reflective mode that you're in at the moment seems to be out of sync and kilter with the wider scheme of things in terms of the festive celebrations, which of course are now beginning to crank up in earnest. But you can only deal with what you're given. And the fact is that Mercury last week was tangling with Neptune in such a way that some information you heard, some gossip even, or some ideas that got into your mind may have actually worried you a little bit, bogged you down, or stopped you from feeling quite as positive as you would like. This week, Mercury moves on and in a positive way is forging a terrific link with Uranus. And someone could reveal something to you this week which could actually be really heartwarming. It's possible that a past good deed you've done can come back to you in a very good way. Of course, this is the time of the year when we get Christmas cards and people generally write very sincere and kind comments. But this could go beyond that. This could be something that's really magnificent in terms of what someone says and it can make you glow inside, not least because it's so unexpected. But the sun unfortunately is forging a quarter moon on Monday with the moon in Pisces. So the same kind of situation that came up last week with information getting blurred, conversations seeming a little bit out of kilter, that can happen again. And unfortunately, you may be finding that some of the people you thought you could count upon are actually not quite as solid in your world as you thought. But you must take heart, Capricorn, because the link between your ruler, Saturn, and also Jupiter, the planet of growth, suggests that there's other alliances building up that can be entirely positive for you. And in life, it is a case of ends and beginnings, perpetual ends and beginnings. We're not necessarily meant to spend all of our lives with the same people. So if some people are beginning to diverge from you, try to be philosophical about it, however upsetting it might be, and see that there are other people who really do rate and respect you. And those are the people that you can build your self-esteem through. If you get too caught up in the draining influences of those people, you find it difficult to come out and tell you how they feel, and would rather steer their comments, observations, or negativity through those you, uh, other people you interact with, that's really going to be demoralizing. Equally, if you don't hear any bad stuff, it could just be that your psychic antenna is going to be switched up to a high level, but almost over aroused to the point where you might start imagining the worst. Try to avoid thinking like this. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.